Welcome to the weekly edition of the Spartan News. Proudly produced by the Video Club. Good morning and welcome back Spartans. I'm Sam Walensky and this is Slam Cater bringing you the latest in Spartan news. Attention, attention all juniors. That's right you. You are about three months away from taking the SAT and we are here for you. There will be SAT prep sessions held during Spartan Plus starting at the end of this month and running through April. More information to follow. Now let's go live to the PAC for Social Studies Department's first ever Social Studies B. We are here live in the new Performing Arts Center with the first ever Social Studies B. The students have just started the competition. Let's go into the audience for more details. It's getting really heated out here. Let's go to Lauren for some tips and advice. How's it going, Lauren? Really bad. <laughs> so we're here with Mr. Newton. What would you like to say about this event, Mr. Newton? I think the turnout is great. As many kids as we can get uh, to be interested in social studies. I mean, the real reason we're here is to promote the uh, elective. So we're here now with Mr. Kuchit. What's your info about this event? Or you. you really got to focus and you really got to work quick, you know, you got to get those fingers moving real fast. Thank you very much. I see you're competing, Dr. Leeds. How's it, how's it going so far? All right, well, good luck to you. That's it for today. Back to you guys in the studio. And now for club and activity news. The Senior Class Advisory Board will be selling prom raffle tickets for just a dollar. You have a chance of winning two tickets for just one dollar. Get them quick before they run out fast. NHS will be hosting their annual Super Bowl this upcoming Sunday. Tickets will be sold at the door, door for just five dollars. Entertainment includes magic shows from your students as well as face painting. Decorative bowls will also be sold. Now for more news. Now to business. It looks like the Hoffman Estates based retail giant Sears and Mr. DeFilippo's favorite store may still have some life in them after all. Their CEO recently put in a bid to take over the bankrupt chain. This may be good news for thousands of employees. Now to the weekly tea. Speaking of recent crazes, did you hear that Netflix is raising their subscri subscription price from $10.99 to $12.99? I'm pretty sure it's going to go up way more, probably in the future. But speaking of Netflix, did you see the movie Bird Box? Let me tell you. It was kind of like more of a thriller, suspenseful, but it had a deeper meaning that you know you have to kind of like watch it really closely to figure it out. But other than that, it was a good movie. Sandra Bullock did an amazing job. Those kids did an amazing job. I was felt like I was on the boat too, like, we had to look, but... Up, just just watch the movie. It's definitely worth it. Now to sports. The boys bowling team competed in the IHSA Regional this past weekend. Three Spartan bowlers were able to advance to the IHSA sectional next weekend. Congratulations to seniors Mariano Gonzalez and Mick Majuric. And junior Nate Moran, all three Spartans will be competing for a chance to go down to state this weekend at the IHSA Andrew Sectional. Batman tryouts are coming well this corner. Make sure to look for open courts and keep up with the reminds. Good luck and go green. The boys basketball team had a winning shot by Ryan Kennelly this past weekend at the JV game. Oh! Program, please come out to support the girls tonight at our game against Richards. Now, keeping those New Year's resolutions are difficult, but let's have some tips from Mr. Novak on how to make your 2019 your healthiest year yet. So we have Mr. Novak here and he's going to give us a few tips on how to maintain a healthy 2019. Thank you. Uh, I think when you look at fitness and it's such a broad, uh, broad term, I think there's a couple things that, that high school kids can really kind of focus on. Uh, one is getting enough sleep. Okay, studies show that seven or nine hours of sleep is optimal for performance uh, in the classroom, on the field, or whatever it is you're going to do. And I think too often people don't get enough sleep, and there's studies that show that if you consistently get less than five hours of sleep, it's actually fun it's like functioning for 48 straight hours without any sleep. Okay, um, so I think that's one. I think the other thing is proper hydration. Um, 
I think drinking enough water is also very, very important. Your brain is made up of 80% water. So the more hydrated you are, the more water you take in throughout the day, uh, the better you'll function. And that'll also help crave or uh, curtail like cravings. And if you're hungry, drinking water is always a good thing to do. Um, thirdly, I think what you eat is, is really, really good. Okay, so uh, when we talk about eating, you wanna eat things that are healthy for you. Okay, so things that are actually from the earth or from animals, things like that, that's usually the optimal choice for what it is that you wanna eat. So not so much things that are like processed and manufactured. Uh, you know, some of the things you get out of the vending machines, like flame knots and pop and all that type of stuff, probably isn't the best thing for you. So the more fruits, vegetables, uh, whole grains and meat that you could eat, the better off that you're gonna be. All right, well, thank you for the advice. Now let's go back to you guys in the studio. If you would like to be featured in the Spartan News, ask your coach or sponsor to email Mr. DeFilippo. This is Salam Cater and Sam Olinsky signing off. See you next week, Spartans.